Hey everybody, Marion the Barbarian here. We are doing a rare morning shave. It has been about 18 hours since my last shave. And we got sent a straight razor from a grown man shave. Why was that so hard to remember at the time? Grown man shave. And uh, I'm gonna give it a try. But the soap we're using is Never Alone 3, which was a TRC, Ariana and Evans, and Red Island Shaver, and Vintage Head Shaver. It was a big collaboration in the community, but we're not here to talk about the soap. Ultima Base, great base. So we're here to talk about the razor. Now, I have pulled this razor out. I have stropped it up. I just want you to see what it looks like coming out of the packaging. Just a little cardboard sleeve, paper sleeve, really. Um, 100% sharp guarantee. I will tell you that before I even stropped it, I took hairs off the arm with it all the way across the blade, so it, it did cut hairs. That's, that's what it's supposed to do, right? I'm keeping opinions. We're being till the end. Hey, at the end, if you want to hear opinions, but right now we are, we are being very objective. We are looking at it. Um, this is the leather pouch. If it's real leather, it's very, it's very, very thin, thin leather. Um, but there we go. This is the Naked Armor Solomon. And at some point, I'll do a video probably just on a Naked Armor. It has made me realize that I need to do some videos. Uh, this is... I don't know if this is real wood or faux wood, but do you see, I didn't polish it up when it came out. I tried to wipe it clean, but it was wrapped in plastic and oil was on the razor everywhere. And that is where the plastic was touching with the oil. We will, I'm reviewing this razor. Do you see the liners? If you can't see that, I'll try to get a better picture later, but do you see the nicking? Maybe that's a better angle. You can see it on both sides. Came in like that. <clears throat> I think this on Grown Man Shave is like 104 or something. I'll make sure I put up the price. Um, this is way too heavy, guys, for scales. Though this is a very heavy blade, but it's way too heavy for scales, in my opinion. And it looks like seamless, like right here for the wedge and stuff. But then like right there, you got a gap. Then up here, we'll take pictures, but you got a gap in there. Just not the most quality. And we'll leave it at that. But we did strop it up on the uh, strop Mike Deckard sent me. And we've lathered this up with the HCNC with, you know, it's a matchy matchy brush. And I mean, I killed this with water because we want extra slickness, man. I like my slickness, but it is beautiful. It's really a nice, so great scent. Scent is phenomenal. All right, we got it on. And like I said, guys, when this is all said and done, I think I'm going to do like some straight razor videos like what to look for when buying a straight razor and all that good junk so we're going to take the glasses off they claim this is a 7 8 there's no way this is a 7 8 um, if I need to pull out my measuring tape I will but it, it looks 6 8 to be honest it does feel to be cutting. My, my issue with naked armor is the people they get to push their product have videos like Oh, shave at 45 degree angle. Like, what freaking world are you in that 45 degree angle is a great angle? Be straight razor shaving. Sure, if you want to cut your freaking throat. It's shaving. 
It is cutting. Not the smoothest edge, but adobo. Isn't uh, shave ready in some people's opinion either. It cuts hairs, but they don't consider it shave ready. There is a difference, guys, because like I can put an edge on a razor that cuts hairs, but I wouldn't say it's shave ready. But see, look, look at all that growth left over. It's just not the smoothest. And honestly, when I go against the grain, if it's not good, I will pull out a DE. And then I'll give a little reason why I don't. Other reasons I don't like this razor. So Stallion got a different model. His was blacked all over the blade with like some black and his wouldn't take an edge. He couldn't get it to take an edge. Other people are like, it's not shave ready. When they go to hone it, they have to do what you do to gold dollars. If you do not know what a gold dollar is, a gold dollar is a Chinese made razor. You can buy on AliExpress for less than $6. And a lot of people will buy those. Even um, places like the Razor Company, Razor Emporium, stuff like that. They will do the geometry modifications you need, hone it up, and or put new scales on it as well and charge, you know, I'd say considerable amount more. But, like, I think Frank at Strike Gold Shave sells his for like 30 something or 29 99 same thing for the Razor Company, but if it gets a little varied, like Razor Emporium, when they put their new scales on them, sells them for like 60 bucks. I think a JJ Shorty is like 65 And those are all made from gold dollars, but it originally cost like $6 for the Razor. Maybe a little more. I don't know prices on them anymore. Did I nick myself? I think I nicked myself there. We did. That was more than a nick, actually. It's a little bit of a... Scrape it looks like in a neck. But yeah, it's not feeling Yeah. I'm just not putting my skin through it, guys. It's not. It's not horrible, but it, it's not good enough. I mean, it's cutting, but it's. Mm -mm. All right, let's find something else to use. All right. I mean, look at that glossy, glossy leather. I'm just. I'm not doing it, guys. It doesn't feel good on the skin. I'm done. I'm out. I'm out. Oh, we'll switch to something just cheap and easy to prove a point. Cheap and easy can get it done. So the thing I don't like, I've watched some of the things from Grown Man Shave and they put this up there like Tears of Sar, Dobo, and whoever else they carry that's not naked armor and naked armor. And it's like, dude, they're not. They, they are not. They're not. They're not. They're not. Naked armor is not a reputable brand, guys. Um, it's my opinion this is a gold dollar razor put on some fancier scales and the scales aren't that fancy don't look that great look like a pocket knife more than a razor uh, messes up the balance scales should not be big clunky and chunky they should be offsetting the weight of the razor so that you can shave flop you know Flawlessly, seamlessly, easily glide the razor. Nothing's tilting one way more than the other. Um, $105, we're just rounding up for a razor that you can get, even if it's a gold dollar shave ready, 30 bucks, okay? Um, that you bought from somebody. 
I did use Bruce Lee blades in here. Like seriously, my neck feels rough AF. I'm like, what did I do there? That did not feel good at all. Um, I, I need to do a video just like showing razors and stuff, but like, I'll, I'll start telling you. Like even from Grown Man Shaves website, They've got like $130 Dovo, I know it. If they do, I will put the listing up right here with the price. Okay? Um, Razor Emporium, $130 Dovos, Ralph Aust. Um, maybe Tears of Sard. Um, go to... My whole thing is, if you have committed to spending $105... On this piece of shit, spend an extra $25 and buy a real freaking razor. Or go down to $60 and get a Razor Emporium Gold Dollar. Go down to $64.99, $65.99, whatever it is for a JJ Shorty at the Razor Company. You see what I'm saying, guys? Like, that JJ Shorty and the Razor Emporium is literally. Gold dollar, this blade pretty much, with nicer scales. Yeah, skin doesn't feel good. That's the point. Like, and I... I'll keep rolling them as I'm shaving here. I'm gonna kind of shave off to the side. Actually, off to this side so I can look in the mirror better. And I'm just gonna start rolling off listings of 100 to, actually, I'm gonna start with JJ Shorties and gold dollar listings, and then we're gonna move into Dovos, Ralph Faust, everything. I'm just gonna layer them down while I'm finishing off this shave, guys. And even while I'm rinsing, I will cut the video volume off and continue to show them while I'm rinsing up just all the other options it'll take a little bit of time and, and I'll even show ones from grown man shave it's it's not about the vendor I don't think he or she or whoever grown man shave is technically should be partnering carrying doing anything with a naked armor I don't think it's a thing, but we are going to, I'm getting close. Even though I'm going to shave again tonight, we are going to get a close one. I'm going to owl them up. And then we're going to do a single pass shave tonight, probably against the grain. And then some pickups. You know, the more I use this Ultima, it is, even though I say it's not heavy, it still ends up being heavy on the face, which is something I like. But hopefully I'm showing you razors, guys. TIs, which are tears of sword, things like that. And did I say Griffith? Griffith Shaving Goods. Um, I'll start rolling pictures of their stuff too, man. Like they've got vintage razors for the price of this. Vintage razors, shave ready. Nice, guaranteed to be good steel. Like... And if I was going to buy a beginner starter razor and I wanted something nice for around a hundred bucks or a little more, Griffith is where I'd go. And start out as cheap as you want, guys. Spend some money on a decent strap. The reason I say a decent straw, you buy a decent one. I mean, even if it's a Chicago Strop Company. Even if it's a Chicago Strop Company, it's a good one. Like we'll even clear it up a little. You want something that's good and thick. 
okay? Like this is just a good thick strop. It's really all you need. It's great. Um, this is horse russet, something like that, I think. That's what you call it. But all right, I'm going to stop it just for a second so the rest of it I can mute out while I rinse. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to mute it out. It doesn't matter. Just the tips, just slightly. Then I'll dry off the rest of the handle and then I'll set it to the side because we still haven't done a shave of the day photo. Hopefully I still had photos to keep coming through all of that. Makes it longer than usual. Eh, don't feel like grabbing my bougie tail. Wet the folks a little, just because it was a rough shave, I will be using alum. Then I'll wet the alum a little. And just leave it on there for a second afterwards. Until we dilute it with the splash. But yeah. I like the scent. Guys, just naked armor, buyer beware. If you're in other hobbies, I'm sure like watches, like don't buy all these like the advertising spent on this. You gotta remember they're spending a ton on advertising and their products super cheap or inexpensive for you to buy. Why is that? The packaging looks pricey. Products, ugh. I'm just saying guys, I'm not, I, I hope I've given people proof you can see, um, don't buy naked armor, just don't, like, even if now they're honable, or they have an edge, it's still not worth $105, if you're going to spend that kind of money, get a Ralph Foss, dude, get a Dovo, there's plenty of places, I'll link some below. And, like, I'll link all their razors, cheapest to most expensive. Like, there will be links below. Some may be affiliates because I have affiliates there. Some I'm not affiliated with whatsoever. They don't even know who I am. But that's the shave, guys. Naked armor. Buyer beware. Um, hopefully, y'all enjoyed the honest review. Um, I don't like doing this. It came from a vendor. It did not come from Naked Armor. I wish it would have came from Naked Armor and I wouldn't have been as nice as this review was. But anyways, for me, please, you know, subscribe, comment below, hit that noti bell, and we will catch you next shave.